welcome back to Rebel Crusher. And today we're gonna to be answering a question uh, from Justin. Uh, doesn't say where Justin is from, but this particular question looks like it, it really doesn't matter where he's from. So uh, what is the difference between a jaw crusher and an impact crusher? And why would I use one over the other? Um, so Justin, uh, we hear that question all the time. You know, people are, you know, they hear one thing over another. And in general, it has to do with what material you want to produce. So, uh, and what you're actually crushing. So with, uh, let's say an impact crusher, for example, we typically use that to pulverize, make very, very small product that you can imagine an impactor is, is in the name, right? It impacts the material, it explodes it. So we're not putting granite in an impactor. We typically don't like to put steel in them. Uh, more than likely, we would use an impactor in uh, a softer material application, possibly asphalt, where we're looking to grind up asphalt really, really small. Otherwise, in most other applications where we're crushing concrete with rebar, rock, sand and gravel, uh, most asphalt, uh, you know, bricks, block, anything like that, the jaw crusher is just so much easier to operate. Less dust, uh, less maintenance, the wear parts are less expensive, you're changing them less frequently. So in general, um, the impactor is something we use only for a specific application. We're grinding up gold, we wanna make a bunch of powder, we'd use an impactor. Um, and we might even use a jaw ahead of it, so the jaw would take the brunt of it and then feed it into an impactor. But just vice versa, you know, looking at you know, the differences, um, the rule of thumb in general is if you can crush with a jaw, don't use an impactor. So we're only really bringing that impactor into the equation when we absolutely have to. Um, and I'm sure I'm gonna get some heat from that. People say, oh, that's not true. We can use our impactor for this and that. Um, yeah, well, possibly you're right. But at the end of the day, uh, almost any expert would say, if you can use a jaw and it makes the product you want, use the jaw. Slower speed, uh, kind of slow and steady wins the race kind of thing. Jaws run at around 250 RPM. They're squeezing the material together and, and letting it go down where the impactor is exploding the material, it runs around 1,000 RPM. So you can just use your common sense. Which one would you rather run? Which one would you rather have if by accident your guys threw a manhole cover or an anvil or let's say a fire hydrant in them? And by the way, uh, we've had tons of clients that have you know, sent us emails, hey, my Rebel Crusher just ate a toilet bowl, a transmission by accident, and it still kept going. So again, the jaw, we have both. Rebel has an impactor and a jaw, so I'm not pro one or the other. I'm more interested in the product you want to make. So hope that answers your question. Uh, feel free to give us a call. We can go into more detail. So thank you very much.